Come on. Take his picture of me. Now, that's it. All right, now you're taking pictures. Yeah, it's taking now. Point it right at the, the thing up here. All right, now let me show you. Now just hold still. It, let it move. Is it moving? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now then that, watch it come closer to yeah. you. Yeah, where is that thing though? Right there on top. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a, this and here's one that brings it up close. Okay. All right, now you watch it now, just real still. Watch it. See it change it? Uh-huh. It's pulling it close wide angle now. Yeah. All right, now this is your telephoto lens right here. It's taking pictures all the time. Okay. Match that little red button I showed you with your thumb, and it'll stop. It'll say pause, and you'll hear it roll back. Did it say pause? See them little mm -hmm. arrows? Mm -hmm. Now then, I got you. <laughs> oh, he could, he could take you. I'm, I'm taking you take your pictures out? now. One time. He could drive you out there? No, no. One now time. Now I'm gonna take. Down in Tacoma, we got. Take a picture a of the house. We ended up downtown. Huh. Oh. We got a beautiful place here. And so we just had all. We like it. It's beautiful. That's why he's been afraid to go back through there. Through Tacoma. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well, it could be a little. It's... I get lost when I go up there too. So. I'm gonna you zoom do. in on that. I'm gonna that's zoom in on that pretty red flower. Oh, that's a hydrangea. That's a purple flower, oh, Tyson. Yeah. yeah. Now there we are. There we go. We're gone. Yeah, we've got that's a big uh, rhododendron bush there. Uh -huh. It's really pretty. The uh -huh. weather is beautiful here today. Uh huh. Just really pretty. Well, they're both both rentals on either side of us, so you know they don't. Wait. I can't see. The sun's got me. Now then, here's Betty close up. You don't need that. That is the cooling heating. There's Ken close up. He's combing his hair. <laughs> Well, I'm taking a picture out here at the back of the motor home of the part of the ocean where it comes up, of the straits where it comes up behind the motor home. We're about 30 feet from the water, from the bank. There's a place where I dress my fish, my fish table, and everything's set up there, and my neighbor's next door here. Some years just washed out a little closer to the water come out of the ground right here. Lots of days we come out here around the kelp line you see out there and I'll bring it up a little closer and that kelp line is a bunch of old seaweed and stuff and you'll see sea otters playing out there in that. I don't see none. It's a little bit rough today. We went out this our first day fishing. We caught four fish. We had pretty good luck. One pretty good size one, others fair. But the water's real rough. You can see white caps out there now. There's the white caps now. You can see them coming up out there. Every little bit, you'll see them popping up. It's getting pretty rough. The wind's blowing about 15 miles an hour. On our first day out, we caught two good fish, four good fish. Here next to us here. That's where my friends camp. It's been helping me a lot with my boat and everything. Mr. J.R. Lay, that's his rig. Sun Sovereign Motorhome, and then this is his friend at Lonely Skill Saw. I'll give you a little better shot of the whole area. And then there's my friend from Montana, from Billings. That trailer, the fifth wheeler there belongs to. Uh, my uh, Babs and them out of Port Angeles. This trailer here next to us, they just left their trailer and boat and everything. This is our motor home from the back, sitting right here and there's their picnic table, all of our stuff on the table. 
starting down at this end. This is the south end of the camp. It's all camped down in there. And uh, I'll pull them up a little closer. There's the south end of the camp. This fella right down there. Got a motorhome just like ours facing us. Come on up the bank. I don't know who all these people are. They're all close to us here. <laughs> Take a picture of this Jeep. Get a little wider angle. There's a picture of my Jeep. Here's my motor home. Our rig right there. All of our stuff out. This man next door here, he's gone and left his boat here. There's a fifth wheeler. And Miss Guffey's, they left their boat. They'll be here in about three or four more days. up a picture of the old mountain over there close that's about two miles away you can just see the tops of the boats down there and we'll take a picture of them in a little bit this whole area's fog's beginning to come in a little bit up on top you can see up on the hill Photographing all the way around. These people up here has got full hookups on the hill. We could if we wanted to, but we wouldn't have no place to dress or fish, so we'd rather stay down here on the bank, dress or fish, and have a place to run our water into the bank, into the rocks. Coming on around, here's where we dump our sewer, and uh, that's the restroom wash house right here. That's old Smitty's old pickup. We use it for everything. They don't know I'm taking their pictures, but they out there piddling around. Now then, I give you a little wider shot of them. And this is Tracy's girlfriend's daddy that's out here. I'm taking his picture. <laughs> We, how many did you get today, Bob? How was the fishing today? We got our limit. Oh, somebody went and got a hair. No. Oh, we got oh, we got oh, one yeah. pretty nice silver and then three just oh, silvers. But we got one, I guess he weighs seven, eight, about seven pounds probably. Something like Bob, that. he wouldn't tell me what he got. He never tells me. <laughs> Oh, I, I got a lot of things. Oh, yeah. But I got one. I kept one king probably about 14 pounds. You did? We, uh, I lost, I had three king strikes, but I lost all three of them. Did you? That's terrible. Yeah. I know, I could, you know, I could tell. I fished enough, I know. <laughs> or at least as I think I did. <clears throat> but, uh, if you're a four leaf clover, pal. I was using, yeah. Huh? Yeah, it yeah. is, isn't it? We got a lot of that burr clover at home. Huh? Put that in your back pocket. Yeah, <laughs> I need to put a bunch of them in there. We, uh, I was fishing with a downrigger and they hit that thing and by the time I'd get it out and start working them, they'd disappear. Get off. There's a lot of nice black mouth around now. Yeah. Five to eight pounds. We lost, we let, we, you know, we let some go. That's and a 12 power on it, huh? Yeah. Well, that's a good one. Are you doing the cooking tonight? Yeah, I'm barbecuing. Oh. Um, all of it? Sure, I got up there. No. That's not bad. Sure, I, got, I got four burgers out there, and I got enough to make four more. <laughs> See, what I, what I figured I'd do here is I'd cook four, and I won't have to cook it. Where's the little girl? <laughs> She's sitting here watching. I was going to get take her picture Krita. so so Tracy could see it. Grandpa, Tracy's grandpa's going to take some pictures. <laughs> now then, we've got Tracy's friend. Yeah, she's coming right up to me and get a close-up of her. 
Tracy, will, she is asking about you today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure, that's the way to do it. Good girl. Got you. Yeah, that's the whole. You got the whole picture here now. Uh, casinos down there. You, you no further than from here to the marina, uh, middle of the marina, uh, from all of the big big uh, casinos, you know, Lucky Lady yeah. and the Californian and the Golden Nugget. Oh, Audrey and, loves that Golden Nugget. Place. Yeah. Oh, she loves that place. Oh, you ought to go there when you go. It's, they got a beautiful RV park, the best one there. Is it hard to, like, like pull a ranger? No. Is it hard to get in and get out of? or? No, you just got to look called at called California. Your, yeah. Okay. It's right off of the freeway. It's no further than here to the bank down there. You get off the freeway, you go under on Las Vegas Boulevard, and I believe you go to the first light and turn to your right. You go about two blocks, maybe three blocks, and turn to your right, and you're in the park. Down. It's right there. Well, we're going to take off. We and, the, and the space is a big, you know, you can pull in there with this, and you car and everything you don't have to disconnect nothing just pull in there you get ready to leave you come out the same way and get right back up on the freeway and leave see I, I just matter of fact I, I went home here I've been here since the first of May but I went home for 10 days and I went I went shopping for fifth wheels we thought about that too. you know I, I drove rear truck I can drive this thing but I, I'm so damn I'm, I've just got I've got this fear about getting on one-way streets or getting off the wrong exit or something. Yeah. And you can't back anything up. To you me, telling me? It's to, to me, it's just different than pulling a trailer. It is. A trailer, you you can you can back do into something with it. Yeah. yeah. Let me can. tell you what happened to me. This this was at the California last year when we left here. We went down that way and went in from this direction. We hardly ever go in from this direction. Okay, we got off at the right place, and they had changed those streets coming from this, going from this way. When you get off there, you've got to stay to your right and go up and then come back down into the park, just the opposite from the other. You, and so when I got down in there, the traffic was real heavy at 5.30 in the evening, Jesus. and here I am pulling this thing and uh, drive shaft out of my Jeep. So... Uh, we got out in there, and I went about as far as from here to that trailer too far to make my right turn before I realized what I was doing. Okay, their cars were stacked up behind me, and they wouldn't let me move back, see? Oh. I couldn't move back at all. I could have backed my Jeep that far. Oh, yeah, you could do that know, far for the But they wouldn't give me, they couldn't. They was blocked clear up to the freeway. You cussing you? I and imagine. You're embarrassed. And yeah. So I looked and I said, "Hell, I can turn left into this where they park cars in there, right at the it's at the city center, I guess you call it, the court of uh, the city functions." Anyway, I turned left and went into the parking area. Well, there's police was standing around there where them bastards wouldn't help me. They could see I was in trouble, but they wouldn't come out. They wouldn't say nothing. So I went in there in the park. I mean, I pulled in there and I couldn't turn around. So, I don't know what I was going to do, boy. I got out and I took that Jeep loose and we pushed it back out of the way. Turned the motor home around and then after we got it turned around, we pulled a, pushed the Jeep up and hooked it on again and pulled on out of there and I, and I had to go back up on the freeway now to get out, see. So I told my wife, I said, hell, I ain't about to go back down there. I'll just, there's too much trouble to turn around in the traffic and everything. We'll just go on. So we went on and went out to the uh, dam on this side of the dam there at Gold Strike, and we played there that evening. And uh, we played to about 2 o'clock in the morning. I said, well, I'm tired anyway. Uh, we decided we'd go on. And we went on, and uh, a little ways down there, uh, after we crossed the dam, it may, it may have been 10 miles, I said, we're going to have to drive clear to Kingman. Well, we saw this little sign that says, uh, 
bar and trailer park. <laughs> I thought, boy, that's a combination, you know? So we never had stopped there. I pulled in there and I walk, walked in this bar and Ellie was full of drunks. And so I said, Who's a, who do I see about an RV park here? That old guy behind the bartender said, me. He said, you see me and this guy right here will take care of you. And boy, he jumped up, he put this kid out there and he walked down there and showed me where to park and plumb off the road, I didn't even know they had a trailer park I'll there. Be but they had a nice trailer park. I'll be damned, yeah. <laughs> and well. he put us in there for 10 bucks. There's good luck and bad luck. Yeah. yeah. And so we come on, we didn't mess around no more. Well, we but we learned something. Well, see, now I've I've driven this thing. I take it to Yakima bird hunt, and I take it up elk hunt. And then I'm I taking a picture of the. Let's see, we'll I'll pull up Canada, and he's over where the clouds are in the mountains across there. That's 15 miles across there, and that's Canada. That's where we fished last year. All the way over, and I'll pull up the. I'll pull up the, there's the straits. This is the top of the little marina where we are. We'll come on around. There's Pillar, Pillar Rock, Pillar Point. That's where we fish right off out in that area. And there's a little mountain there at behind it. It's full automatic. And this is, a, I'll take a picture, of, I'm going to show you the marina where we keep our boats. That's JR's boat, the Sea Dory. He's, he's a man that helps me all the time. I don't think you can see our little boat from here. This is some of the boats that's here. A lot of them's outside today fishing, but it's awful windy. So they not, okay, now there's the entrance to the marina. And... You can see all the boats in sitting in there now. It's a pretty good side, but they, they lost one of the whole docks this year. They don't have but one dock. I'm going to come on around take a picture. It's right out here is where we put the boat in. And then we'll come on around and take a picture. That's a, that's, a, that's a little office and store up here. I'm taking a close-up of it. Now there it is. There's all the boats parked up on the dock. That's Hot Dog's trailer. Taking a picture of all the mountains. Pretty steep mountain. Old man here, he's got a trailer just like ours. She's out walking around. Trying to zoom them up a little closer. Now then, they're taking their picture, they are talking, they look like two rabbits. I walked up the hill and got the mail, and uh, so I thought I went and delivered it to my friend. Said, yeah. You, I'll bring it to you. Well, okay. There's Lyle from Washington, that's his rig there. They, I don't know where they are, he went somewhere, they got a little blazer. Well, this is Tracy's friend's motor home. <laughs> Yours is that pretty red one, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, that's what I figured that it There's was. There's Clarence and his little dog coming up here now. Your, your yeah. boat sure is pretty. <laughs> oh, she's tough. She's a tough little dog. Uh -huh. well, yeah. You want to play with you. <laughs> she's well, just a barking of a ball. storm. Did you catch any? Got, uh, Are you getting it? Yeah, I'm getting you there. That's a good one. <laughs> I'll pull you up a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, he's opposing, I'll tell you for sure. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> he's a pretty little dog, I'll tell you for sure. Close up for Lois. Hey. This is out the back of their motor home. 
That's our old picnic table here where I dress fish. This is a surf coming in. Right there's where I dress my fish on the little table. Digging up a yard, he's fixing the patio for his little RV. There's his picnic table. There's this van, this pickup. Now he's digging rocks up and getting ready to make him a place out here to sit. You got your own Camry. I'll tell you, I'll give you this year. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm taking your picture so I can always remember you. Okay, now we're going. I see uh, the wind soft and the telephoto lens. I'm going to pull up a big boat and see the boat coming in. And I'm around trying to come in. The wind's real bad and all the white caps are showing. You can see them on the screen. There's white capping all around out here in front of us. And uh, the surf is coming in here towards us now. You can see it rolling in right here at the back of our trailer. He just in the trailer asleep. And I thought I'd get out here and take some pictures. So I'll take a I'm going to put a wide angle this time so you can see a little bit better. There we are. Now you can see them. Fully automatic. There's the white caps and the rollers coming in. It'll be a little bit rough out there right now. So we come in at noon. Had a real bad rough water this morning a lot of fog so we just come in at noon we plan on going back out about four if it lays down but from the looks of all this it's not going to lay down it's pretty rough we can't even see the vancouver island across there it's, uh, you can usually see it pretty good but you can't see it this time and you can see the white caps out there and the seagulls flying around over Waves coming in pretty good. When the tide's out, all of this out here where you're seeing the waves right now is just rocks laying out there. Probably a couple of 300 yards out there. Sometimes you'll see sea otters come in here at the back, play around out there in the water. But I haven't seen any this year. There must not be around. I'm gonna quit on this, pick it up later. Might as well. There comes another big one there, breaking over right there. That's the kind that'll roll in the boat with you if you're not careful. They're about six foot high. There's some more big ones breaking out there. Here is Bab, Dale and Babs, Gustafson, and the next one is Bridger from Montana. And I don't know who the next people are in this little trailer here. And then the end of that one over there is my friend from Montana. And I'll get out sooner there than I would have over here. I'm going to just take a picture of this. Boy, this is the driest I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it is the driest I've ever seen. I've never I've seen this. Yeah. That's that's a long ways down to the mud this morning, isn't it? I ought to go out and take a picture of them kelp beds way out there now that we never used to see. That's right. <laughs> There's kelp and everything else gone. I didn't realize them kelp beds were so far out until this morning. You know... Looks like there's kelp beds. Oh, when this water's, when this basin's full, it's at least 25 foot deep in here. This morning, we don't have enough water for nothing. All the boats are sitting on the mud. 
I'll give you a shot across the next dock here from me. The boats are sitting high and dry in the mud. Here's my boat. And uh, you can see it's sitting down in the mud. But at least my motor just clean they up and out of the way. This old rag tag next door to me here is laying over on its side in the mud. I'll take a picture of the fog. You can see out there, you can just see out the edge of the marina, and that's about it. I'll take a picture of the woods up here, and you can see the fog laying up above me here. I'll pull in a, a zoom in on the fog here. You can see the fog, how thick it is. But we're going out as soon as the water comes back in the basin. Right now we can't get out. Everything's up on dry land. You see the gangplank, how steep it is. Fog this morning. So here's a rock that's probably 100 yards from me. And you can just see the rock and that's all. Can't see past it. Here's some of the old trailers and stuff sitting up next to the wall. Fog's terribly heavy this morning. We're getting ready to go out as soon as we get enough water in the basin. Well, here comes Clarence and his dog. And his little dog's the cutest little fella. He's going down to look at his boat. It's sitting in the mud. Uh, 